Two years ago, Dublin won Division 4 of the league, Elaine Gallery lifting the cup. Then last year, they got to the final in Division 3, and although they had to watch Leash lift the cup, the Dubs are making serious progress. Yeah, we're definitely going in the right direction. Um, I mean, Division 2 is, is ideally where we'd like to be, um, and I think we're working well towards that, and we're, we're doing a lot of um, groundwork, so hopefully our work will pay off now in the next year or two, you know. When you say you're doing a lot of groundwork, what exactly is happening? Um, well, Camogie in Dublin in general is um, it's going in the right direction, but they're, they're doing a lot of work from underage right up along, um, and I think we're, we're seeing a lot of the results with, uh, from the younger girls coming up through our panel, you know. Um, they're passing on a lot of um, experience then to the younger girls again before that so we're, we're just we're continually building on what we have and um, we have a good mixture this year on our panel as well which is important we have um, a lot of the younger girls in the clubs in Dublin and we have a, a more experienced players then as well so. The trophy goes to the Westmeath captain Ashley Connaughton Westmeath have also won Division 4 in recent times, this from 2011 after they beat Cavan and now they too are very much a county on an upward curve. I suppose for the first year in a long time we've had a panel of 40 and for as long as I've ever been playing with Westmeath we've never had a panel of 40. I think that's the difference this year. Um, we've a fantastic sideline, we've a fantastic bunch of girls and everyone's been really working really hard together as a unit this year. Um, so it's definitely making the difference. And how come you have such a big panel this year? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It just it's just come together. I suppose it was a really good um vibe at the start of the year. We had um, you know, a new trainer, Jerry Jackson, and we've Allo and um Barry so I think we were doing a bit of strength and conditioning and there was big numbers and everyone kind of seemed to get an interest and it just kind of took off from then. And who's done well in the league for you? Who would you pick out? Who stood out for Westmead so far? Um, I suppose in the league, well just going back to the semi-final, um, Pamela Greville was unbelievable um, in the half-back line. She really just pulled out all the stops and um, she was really, really good. Um, Diana Lachlan's free taking was excellent against Armagh on the last two occasions. Um, then I suppose um, going into the middle of the field, we've brought on a few new girls. So um, the likes of Ellen Tate, she's a new girl coming on. She's she played really well the last day. She was very impressive. And then um, I suppose we have the likes of Marie McCormick and the three McCormick sisters played very well the last day. So um, the right family affair the last day. But uh, yeah, no, there's a lot of new girls coming on that are playing really really well. Um, yeah, a few of the younger girls would be, um, there's a girl on our panel, Kleena McCulloch there, she's very good, um, she plays with Nafina and um, there is a few of the girls then that would have been playing with college and that, um, so we have the likes of Michelle Kelly and Nisha Quinn and some of these girls and um, like because of college and, and the timing of it and everything, um, they're, they're running into our training, having winter training done and they're just flying it, you know, so it's brilliant. So I'll probably be playing against some of my own club mates um, next week, but um, I'm sure we can manage to leave the counties aside for, for the 60 minutes and become friends afterwards. <laughs>